Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the weekly CL review. This is uh, Friday the 3rd of August and it's week 31. And what an interesting week it's been this week. If we go take a look at the, uh, the daily chart, we can see that uh, given the moves that we've had over the past couple of weeks, uh, the price pushed up to this area here on Monday at $70 and um, literally tanked uh, from that area. That's, that was a major area of uh, resistance up there. Uh, and day two pushed down and uh, on the Thursday we had this push down to $67 and then a retracement back up from there. But you can see how the big round numbers have been in play, whether it's uh, $70, $69, or sixty-seven dollars. And if you go look at the look at the numbers here, um, we can see that on Monday we had a range of about one hundred and fifty-three, which is all about about right. Uh, Tuesday, and that's on quite low volume, quite low volume. Three sixty-three thousand contracts is is particularly low. Um, on Wednesday, uh, we uh, the range was two twenty-four on four forty-nine uh, thousand, which is still quite low, but you know in the ballpark. But what's really interesting is that on Wednesday, um, the range was quite uh, so it was very very small, 121, but the volume was 502. And uh, one of the reasons for that, well, there's two reasons. Number one is because we had the inventory report, and uh, two, we uh, we had the FOMC report, and uh, therefore a lot of volume was going through the market, but not a lot of um, lot and lot of movement. So if, if you go back to the previous uh, the pre previous page, you can see that uh, Wednesday was quite a tight day from a trading point of view. And then coming into Thursday, which was a massive move on Thursday, we went from uh, $69.36 down to $66.92, which was a 244 uh, tick range on only 465,000 contracts. So big reaction on Thursday after that tight move uh, that occurred on uh, on Wednesday. And then on Friday, you know, the move was pretty tight. Um, as this was recorded, the, the volume was about 72. Uh, the price the price on oil has come down um, quite a bit now. We're up at 68.28. So there's another 30 ticks there. Uh, so pretty tight day today. Uh, but some good opportunities, good opportunities to make some money. Now let's go look at the uh, the 60 minute chart. What I found really, really interesting on the 60 minute is that uh, as we started the day uh, during the Asian session on Monday, uh, the markets were very, very tight. Hardly any movement occurred um, in on that, that first bar there. And you can see that what then happened, we're at the $69 level, the price just basically took off and continued to push up to the upside, breaking through $70. And once it had got up to that area, created a bit of a high, and uh, the price then consolidated um, back down on on that uh, on that day, and as you can see here, that uh, on uh, uh, Tuesday we had this uh, this push to the push to the downside, followed by that consolidation on Wednesday, and and all of these bars tightly together. That is a, that was driven by the uh, the inventory report um, to be quickly followed by this beautiful move to the downside. On the uh, on Thursday, we had the price push up to sixty-eight dollars, and then it tanked all the way down to sixty-seven, giving many traders a uh, 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 a good hundred tick uh, move there. And that was quickly followed on Thursday by the price finding uh, support down here at sixty-seven, and then turning and pushing all the way back up to sixty-nine. So we had a a dollar move down and a two dollar move up. So given that price action, then we would be expecting some kind of consolidation on Friday, which is exactly what happened. Uh, price came back up to retest these levels a couple of times, uh, and then finally in the afternoon just tanked again. Uh, well, not quite tanked, but just pushed itself all the way down to the downside, uh, going from 69 down to uh, down to 68, and that move was pretty pretty quick. Uh, just before uh, just before lunch so overall a pretty good day pretty good days trading today a pretty good week's trading but again it's a case with uh, summer trading you've got to be in the right place at the right time to take care of these opportunities thank you
One of the characteristics of the markets is that, um, you know, sometimes the market can be trending, uh, which is fantastic when it's doing that. And uh, at other times it can be kind of in chop. You'll, some people call that range bound. And um, it's quite difficult to trade the markets when they're range bound because you have to adjust your, your technique or adjust your approach. When you're trading in a trending market, then you can rely on tools like moving averages and things like that. But when the market goes into um, range bound mode or trying to consolidate around some price points, you cannot trade with a moving average because the moving average is never going to catch up with the price. And so a, a useful technique that I, that I teach in the, in the trade room is the, is the peak trade. And, and, and that's about identifying areas of support and resistance on the chart and then using those combined with the print profiler and the other tools that I use to identify you know, areas where the price is likely to turn. And so this is on Thursday, and we had that big move up in the market on Thursday. So I identified the top here. This was the uh, Thursday's high, and a couple of other areas where you know we were seeing some areas of support and and resistance. Let me just take these zones off, so we just get rid of those. So we just keep the chart as as clean and as clear um, as we can. Um, I'll leave the moving average on there because I'll keep that there as a as a as a reference point. So these are the areas that we've identified. Now, as we come into the into the day, we can see that the 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 price is kind of just meandering around during the uh, during the Asian session, and starts to push up into this area here. So as soon as the price gets into this area, you see that we get a sell and a trap. Uh, trade setup happening. That's telling telling us that uh, the volume's been drying up on the uh, on the buy side, uh, and this is a good this is a you know, pretty good setup. So we we'll then see what happens to the price. It then starts to you know push down into this uh, into this area here, which happens to be at this level here at uh, 68.50. Now. I talk a lot in the room about the the big round numbers and 68.50 is a significant area and you can see how the price has pushed down into that area and bounced straight off. Now there's a whole bunch of other tools that we use to uh, identify the validity of this move um, but as you can see now the price is starting to push back up and uh, and so we're just watching this market now so we had a short opportunity here uh, and a long opportunity here to buy the market and uh, and we've identified that this area at 68.50 is a level of um, support. Uh, so as the price then moves back up into this area, you see as soon as it hits this level again, 69.20, um, which is the same area here, the same area here, we get a reaction and uh, we got another trap move with a sell so the volume is starting to um, dry up so that provides another opportunity to short the market um, and then the price starts to push down a little bit of consolidation there but that's uh, absolutely absolutely fine and then as the market uh, pushes down what does it then do it comes back up into this area back up there again and creates virtually identical setup a short trap move so there's another opportunity to short the market here. And uh, so, so far we've had a, a move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60 to, to the downside, 60 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 40 down, 40 up. So that's 200 ticks so far uh, on, on oil today. Now, um, I was um, listening in on some other traders and people were complaining that the market was very, very choppy. And it, indeed it is because, you know, this is summertime trading and all that sort of stuff. But the tools that we're using in the room do give you a great opportunity to get inside the, the, the bars, get inside these, uh, these bars, actually understand what's going on. Uh, in the background. So let's see what happens here. So we go short here, short here, short here, all at the same area. Uh, and then the price meanders a little bit and provides us with another opportunity. So depending on where your stop was here, this you may have been stopped out or you may have moved your price to, you know, uh, you know, plus plus zero, you know, one, you know, uh, your entry point plus one or whatever you've been doing. But if you took a stop out there, that's fine. Um, you had one, one, two, three winners on the uh, on, on the go there, four winners on the go. Uh, so another opportunity comes up 
And remember, every single trade is independent of the previous trade. You know, this trade doesn't make a difference to this one, or this one doesn't make a difference to that one. The differences are the things that for the stuff that's going on in your mind. So uh, what happens on this particular trade? The price starts to push down. Now, now notice all the while that the moving average is just floating in the middle of all this price action. And so it's not much use to us when we are trading in this way. Um, and so let's uh, let's just take that moving average off, okay? And um, let's see what happens to this price. It's pushing down, pushing down, and it comes down to exactly this sort of level that we were at over here, okay? So if I just draw another area of support here, so you can just see what I'm talking about here. Do you see that? Comes down into support, down into support, down into support, returns, pushes back up. And then uh, we're coming now into the afternoon session. Now, what's significant about this is that we are now into non-farm payroll country, um, and uh, which was the report that came out today. So we, I advise my traders to not trade non-farm because we have no idea where the market um, is going to go. And it pushes up to this level at uh, uh, $69 and then again peels off to the, uh, peels off to the downside. Where does it stop? Oh, that's interesting. Stop bang on that level that we've been stopping at before. Now, this is a technique that I teach in the room. And so if you'd like to learn how to do this, please go to uh, NeuroStreet, www.neurostreet.com and uh, get registered, uh, ask some questions, and it'd be great to see you in the room. Thank you. Have a fantastic weekend.